It's finally happening! The Hexbound demo is officially live on Steam, but getting here was definitely an adventure if you haven't done it before. Let me show you what the last week looked like and how to do the actual demo upload for anyone interested. Here's what was left on my ever-growing to-do list before launch. Bugs to squash, last-minute tweaks to make, and an alarming dependence on caffeine. Starting off with linking the wishlist button from inside the game to open up Steam. Luckily I found a code template and now I just need to get the ID from Steamworks. Well, two is better than one for the day. Moving on. Now, the credits page can't forget to thank everyone who made this possible. People like me, and myself, and me. But seriously, I have to thank my lovely wife for the image illustrations and the loving support over this journey. Okay, now some boring stuff. The terms and conditions and privacy policy documents set to be ready. It's done, don't worry about it. Feedback form. Someone said this is a good idea, let's do it. Add some questions that are useful to me and done. And finally, we need to fix an animation I never had time for. Not a biggie, just slightly annoying. Uh, basically, this box open animation covers the number text, which is just a, a decal, by the way. Since all boxes share the same open animation, I can just correct it on one, and it's done. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the nitty-gritty final steps on preparing your build. Check some boxes here, question about the importance of options there, and we are ready to click build. Hmm, I guess not. Two hours later. We are done. Final bug squashed. Build is ready. Uh, had to make some tough calls, though. I even cut a feature at the last second. Goodbye physics-enabled coffee cup that players could accidentally launch into orbit. You'll be missed. Alright, so we're ready for Steam. All you need is a demo build and a Steamworks account. You have these, right? Otherwise, what are you doing on this video? Oh, you have? Okay, let's go and log in. Steamworks is like an ancient temple of game publishing. Mysterious, slightly intimidating, and full of buttons you probably shouldn't press without reading the fine print. But today, we're only here to upload a demo, so let's stay focused. Once inside Steamworks, click on your game from the dashboard. Um, if you have multiple projects, make sure you're selecting the right one unless you want to surprise your players with an accidental dinosaur demo inside your cozy puzzle game. Click on it and this will take you to the app admin page. This is where all the magic happens. Now, scroll down and look for all associated packages, DLC, demos and tools. Yes, that's its actual name. Click on that and we are greeted with a page to do just that, add DLC, demos and other stuff. We have a very convenient add demo button here. Go ahead and do that. This will create a new app ID which you'll need soon, just keep note that this is different than your main game ID. Cool, now click on your demo name and you're greeted with an admin page similar to your game admin area. You'll have to do most of the things you already did with the main game to submit the demo page for review, but let's start uploading the demo files. First, you need the Steamworks SDK downloaded, you can get that from the dashboard page and look at the right hand side. This tool offers multiple ways to upload your game, but instead of using command line wizardry like Steam CMD, we're using the Steam SDK GUI because clicking buttons is way less stressful than typing cryptic commands. In your SDK folder, go to SDK, then Tools and unzip the Steam Pipe GUI and open it. All right, fill in your demo ID at the top and then select Add Depot. A depot ID was already created for you when you clicked the Add Demo button. To get it, go to your Demo Steamworks settings page and select Steam Pipes from the top and then Depots. The build path is where your demo is, and at the bottom, the content builder path is where your Steam SDK is installed. Finally, add your Steam login credentials and click Generate VDF. And now you're ready. Click Upload and try to stay calm. And that's it. You can now send your demo to Steam for review. Alright, your turn. The Hexbound demo is live right now on Steam. Go play, wishlist, and let me know your thoughts. Also, um, I've got some really cool ideas for future videos, so a subscribe would be helpful to get the motivational gears cracking. See you in the next one.